Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mr. Saucedo's YouTube videos. Today, we're going to be looking at how you convert using metric prefixes. So um, these should look familiar because if you were, you know, taking notes like you're supposed to, you should have this entirely filled in. Um, so this is just a review of all the different prefixes that we're going to be using in class. Now, the only ones you need to know are the highlighted ones here. So you know, kilo, deci, centa, milla, micro, and nano, uh, and I guess base unit also. But um, as a reminder of how those work, uh, base units are what we kind of start with. That's why they're called base units. They're kind of your baseline. So those are things like the SI units that we talked about or the ones that are derived from them. We have meters, seconds, liters. Remember, we have like candela, you have ampere, you have things like that, all the weird ones. But um, the idea is those are your base units. You can change the meaning of what the unit is by adding one of these prefixes, or I guess I shouldn't say the meaning, the value can be changed, okay? So if you say a kilometer instead of a meter, that means 1,000 meters. Um, I guess you could say kiloseconds, that would mean 1,000 seconds, but that's the idea. That's how these prefixes work. Um, a lot of you like using decimals uh, in order to not have to use really scientific notation or exponents, so I'm giving you both here just so that you can utilize them. But I'm going to show you how you can use a different method to be able to convert between the different uh, prefixes. And so hopefully that'll be a little easier with using a number line. Okay, so as a review, um, that was our review. So how do you convert between these prefixes? Well, the idea is this. If you're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, then you're moving your decimal place to the right. Okay, so again, if you're going from a larger unit, like one of those kilo things, to something smaller, like, you know, deci, centa, even the base unit, that means you move your decimal place to the right when you're converting. If, on the other hand, you start with something smaller, like, you know, nano or micro or something, and you're moving to something larger, like centa or deci or kilo, and that means you move your decimal to the left. So this is going to be kind of our shortcut way of representing all of the different prefixes. So this is a number line, but it's an unusual number line, okay? So zero, obviously, that's like our base unit, and that's right here. And then all of the other ones are out on this side. Uh, these are the big numbers. These are the small numbers. So that's a little bit different. You're used to seeing number lines that are kind of opposite, but these are your larger numbers, these are your smaller numbers. Okay, so the left side is large, the right side is small. And so let's label zero as your base unit. Three, okay, that's 10 to the third power, that's a thousand, that's kilo. Then we have mega and we have giga. And remember, these two, we don't really need to memorize those, we don't really use them very often. Okay, now what about the small ones? Remember, we're dealing with atoms a lot in here and stuff. Um, and since we're dealing with small things, there are a lot more smaller units for our prefixes. So 10 to the negative 1, a tenth, that's deci. Centa, that's 100th, or 10 to the negative 2. Then we've got, you know, milla, that's a thousandth, or 10 to the negative 3. And then remember, we skip a little bit. So we've got, you know, micro, that's 10 to the negative 6. And then nano, that's 10 to the negative 9. Okay? So write this down too. These are your larger units. These are your smaller units. Always ask if your answer makes sense. Again, if you're going from larger to smaller, you're moving your decimal place to the right. If you're moving from smaller to larger, that means you're moving your decimal place to the left, okay? So here's how this is gonna work and here's how you use the system. Convert 10 meters to centimeters, okay? So 10, M, M means meter not milla, just meter. To be millimeters, that would be mm, millimeters, okay? So meters right here, that is a base unit. So I'm starting right here. I need to move my decimal place how many places and which direction to get to centa. So I start at zero and I need to get to centa. So I need to move it one, two places, okay? And which direction am I moving it? To the right or to the left? To the right. So to go from 10 meters to centimeters, I take 10. This is my decimal because 10 with a period, that would be 10. And then I move it 
two spaces over. So that would mean I have 1,000 centimeters. Picture that, right? So this is where our decimal would have been, and I moved it over two spaces. That's 1,000 centimeters. That's how you use this system. What about 45 millimeters to kilometers? So remember, mm, that's a prefix. That is our unit, millimeter. So I'm right here. I'm at 10 to the negative 3 right here. I need to get all the way to k. So how many spaces do I need to jump? One, two, three, four, five, six spaces. And which direction did I move? I moved to the left. So that means, again, I have my decimal here. I need to move it uh, to the left. So one, two, picture moving those over. When you're done, you should get something like this. 0 0.000045 kilometers. And again, ask yourself, does that make sense? Yeah, I'm starting with something small and going to something large. That means I'm going to get a really small answer. In this case, I started with something large and I was going to something smaller. So I'm getting a larger answer. That makes sense. This one's ridiculous, but convert 0 0.002 kilometers to micrometers. So I start here. I got to get all the way over here. So let's jump. I got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got to move it nine spaces. In which direction did I move? I moved to the right. So I got to move this nine spaces over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? That would be this. So that's one, two, three. Six. So that's two million micrometers. Okay? So hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know. Otherwise, that's the end of the lesson.